Hello. In this video, I'm going to be doing flame and flammability tests of different metal powders. These tests are going to show how the metal reacts to fire, if it sparks, if it burns, if it's non-responsive. So right now, the metals that you're seeing in front of you are mostly elements, and I'm going to use a file to powder them. Right here I have silicon, which is not actually a metal, chromium, manganese, gallium, lead, bismuth, here's a ferrocerium alloy, here's silver, cobalt, nickel, and I already have these metals that are pre-powdered. There's zinc, magnesium, aluminum, iron, and some copper that I powdered electrolytically. I also have strontium metal which I cannot powder because it's too soft and too reactive so I'm just gonna burn a piece without it being powdered, just burn a lump of it since it's pretty flammable. So I'm gonna powder these metals and then come back once I have the powdered samples. I filed all the metals and during which I learned that silicon crystals are actually harder than a hardened steel file so I used a vise to just crush it since the crystal was really brittle. For these first tests I'm going to use the blowtorch and a popsicle stick that has the metal powder on it. First I'm going to put the metal powder into the torch and let it spark a bit and then once the popsicle stick lights I'm going to pull it out and then let that burn. is what I'm calling the pile test, where I'm just pouring some metal out onto the table, spreading it out longwise, and then I'm just going to hit it with the torch on full blast and see what happens.
been flame tests of different metal powders. Titanium and zirconium also give really bright sparks, but I have neither of those elements. As a finale, I am going to light all the metals on fire that have accumulated on this tray during the video.